Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ali Kaz, and today we're going to be looking at a cool mod for Skyrim called uh, Candle Pond Ranch, I think it is. So right now I am at Candle Pond Ranch Stables, which is near the towers, near Dark Shade, uh, Cradle Crush Rock. The um, best way to think of it is that it's near Windhelm and sort of in the middle of White Run and Run, White, uh, White Run and Windhelm, and we're at Stables right now. So we're going to take a look around. It's a lovely cattles very nice and obviously we have sort of normal sort of stable stuff hay uh, so yeah this is a free player home it's quite popular at the moment on the Skyrim Nexus and I can see why there's a lot of like animals and stuff probably just like shoot them but get in trouble see <laughs> one of them has died um, take its leg just pay respect to the dead by taking its leg so over here we have a blacksmith forge and a smelter for all your armor needs and tanning rack, workbench, lots of um, crafting storage chests, which are a nice idea. Crafting potions, you have some there. That's a really cool thing for them to put in the uh, crafting potions because my character Nostrosian. Oh look, you even get some dragon stuff. Very nice. My character Nostrosian, he's always crafting. He's always using his nice potions. Oh wow, look at all these ores. That is a lot of ores. They will sell for quite a lot. Uh, leathers and pelts, lovely. Lots of leathers. And ingots. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. So pretty much make anything. But the one thing that I didn't see there was Daedra hearts. Grindstone. So yeah, it doesn't look like you can make Daedric, but you have all that you need apart from the Daedra hearts. So I think that's that. And what is this? Candle Pond Ranch. So yeah, this is just a little bit further over here. Let's go inside. Now this is my first time playing through, haven't been in here before. Um, I thought I'd just record, see what happened, because I was getting some feedback from someone else who said sort of to make it a bit more interesting, so I'll do a live mod review. And uh, oh, uh, hi there, friend, how are you? Are you a, are you a friend or a foe? Um, okay, well mannequins, so you can put your armour and stuff on them, armour storage, uh, just loads of chests and stuff, that's pretty cool. Wow, these display cases are quite cool. So, you, yeah, you could put my bow on it. That's, and you can close the case. Oh, that's really nice. That's very nice indeed. More of these creepy mannequins. They're a little weird. Get my dagger out for no reason. Um, so yeah, this is basically the whole armor room, and you can put weapons in there. Uh, through this is some bedages. Lovely wardrobes. Ooh, lovely gold. Nostrosian likes his gold. Ooh, more gold, but can't be bothered to take it. So yeah, nice beds. The Thief of Virtue. Nice uh, bedtime story. Throw it across the room. Uh, Nords of Skyrim. Ooh, I whistled with my teeth. So you can learn about uh, sort of stuff. You learn about history. More gold. Can't seem to access this gold or the chest. That might be a bug, I'm not sure. So yeah, that's that room. Uh, next, what have we got in here? Uh, more beds. This looks like a music room. But you can't access this stuff either, which is weird. A dream of sovereign, sovereign guard. Very nice bedtime reading. More wardrobes. More beds. How many people is this house meant for? Jeez. Got your kinky sex dolls around. You got... Oh, that's pretty cool. That is nice. Yeah, that's cool. Just uh, double bed and then a single bed. So many beds. Beds everywhere. Bed, bed, bed. Uh, what in here? Oh, it's... Oh! Now that is cool. Oh, it even makes ripples. Oh, that is nice. So, the mod creator did say this wasn't as law friendly as it could be because of, um... It had plumbing. Activate bath tap. Oh, and all the water just sort of drains. So yeah, that is nice. That's a cool addition. I like that. Uh, this looks like a sort of alchemy hanging out, chillaxing, smoking drugs room. Very nice. You got a nice toilet. Roll of paper. Now that is cool. That's a nice touch. Wow, even the toilet flushes. A lot of attention to detail went in this mod, I can tell already. Alright, what's through here? Or down here? This is a big house. Hmm. Got some people. What do you hmm. need, my thane? Oh, here's my house, Carl. Does Until stuff for me. What do you need, handsome? Oh, you call me handsome. Well, thank you very much. I like all these figures of beasts and stuff. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, through here, we have, of course, more beds. 
why would I ever get out of the way? Why would I ever think differently? This is just like the slaves' quarter. This looks like a master bedroom. Okay, hear the water outside. That's pretty cool. All right, this is the kitchen area by the sound of it. Oh no, by the looks of it. And the fish, <laughs> the fish actually flexes. In hey, hey, come here. Slap in the face with a fish. That's right. Raw fish storage, so you can actually store your fish inside a fish. Fishception, uncooked meat storage. So all of these are like chests in disguise. By the looks of it. That's pretty cool. Lovely kitchen, lovely spit roast, cooking pots. If you like stuff like that, then uh, it's nice. Ale and, ale and mead storage. So all of these are like chests, but hidden. That's pretty nice. Uh, what is this? Fireplace. Very nice. Oh, this is like ugh, this is like the dining room sort of banquet area. Lovely chest, so you can put all your food and throw up in there. More oh, chest this is. Um, this is quite a large player home. He wasn't lying in the mod. Or she, I can't remember who it was. But more statues, very nice. They give it a good sort of feeling. Ledger, more books. If you like reading, then this is your mod. Um, what's through here? It's the bedroom. Of course, more beds. Sit on me. More beds. Okay, more mannequins. Weird, very weird. More statues, fireplaces. It's a little bit repetitive, but. I mean, it's just so awesome. What's that? Library scroll storage. Oh, so you can store your loot paper in there. Very nice. And then out into Skyrim. So I think that's pretty much all of the inside. There's a lot of nice features in it. I think there's a little bit more outside. I'll go into free camera mode. And I'll sort of check around. Because I think there might be a little bit more. A L- little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, there's a bit more. So if we uh, toggle free camera. Open up the command. We have sort of monument with uh, what it looks like some nice armor and stuff, armorage and a statue to pray at. Now that is pretty cool. Uh, just photo bombing me. Nice sort of face in the uh, ground. That's nice. Nice effect. I'm just saying nice. Everything's nice. I love it. It doesn't look that big from the outside. It really doesn't. But there we go. That is pretty much the whole mod. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's very useful. I don't think I'll use it because I don't really use player homes that much, but you can tell that the amount of work that went into this is pretty crazy. So uh, go endorse the person on the forums if you're feeling awesome. Uh, subscribe to me, and uh, peace out guys.